Now, when you become a mother, suddenly your own well-being takes a back seat. The kids' health and happiness is our priority. But our next guest, author Tui Fleming, is giving you permission to put yourself first. Hi, Tui. Hi. Lovely to have you in the Thank studio. You. Were you inspired by your own experiences? I was, but probably not the way that you might think. Um, before babies, I spent more than 10 years in the corporate career, and I, I put a lot of focus there on personal development and potential building. And so I learned in that time that um, to be fully engaged and to be productive and to be my best self in my job meant um, taking lots of breaks to re-energize myself. It meant taking enough time to restore myself and it meant um, leaving work early, early enough so that I could do things that fill my cup and that light me up. So I was inspired but it was in my work days and then I took those lessons and applied them to my job as mum. It's funny, how was that perceived in the corporate world if you were leaving early to go and you know make sure that you're looking after yourself? I was really lucky. I had a string of managers who were quite inspiring leaders and mentors. I had one boss who would stand at my desk at around five o'clock and say, it's time, you need to go. If you don't go now, you're not going to be the best you can be tomorrow. So I had that really good start and that kind of followed me all the way through my career and then into motherhood. That's actually really interesting too and that follows on from the whole France thing as well where they're saying don't check your emails when you're not at work and things, which is very difficult it's for very us. very difficult. But moving it into the whole mummyhood thing, you've got a three and a four year old, haven't I you? I do, yes. So life must be very busy. It's busy. Do you think women feel guilty about taking time for themselves? Absolutely. They absolutely do. They tell me every day. It's one of the musings in my book that people most resonate with. And I think it's because as women these days, we're told so often and by so many people that we can do and be anything we want. But I think we often take that to mean we can do and be it all. And then we take it one step further that we should. And the thing is, shoulds are other people's wants. We don't need to do what other people expect. It's mm. a matter of doing what's right for you. And you actually have to be selfish to be selfless. And you also have to remember that what you see on Instagram and people's perfect children and perfect it's lives. That's so not true. That's on Instagram. It's remember, we true. all fake it just a tiny little bit to make our lives look great. So tell me about your book, Dear Mummy, You're Important Too. It's musings, motivations and morsels to nourish the soul. So the musings are um, my thoughts and perspectives on universal mummy challenges like the guilt, like other people's expectations, not enough time, sleep, etc. The motivations are the tools on how to address those but it's not a prescriptive book it's not how to it doesn't give you answers it kind of flips that how to line of thinking on its head and um, gives a perspective that's positive and productive and all about you and what's right for you as a person and then the recipes are feel good sustenance for your journey because it is a journey motherhood's a journey and so is finding yourself after becoming a mum mm, it is and you have to also realize that you are not going to be top of your game 100% every single moment of the day no, because and that's, that's okay. not realistic. But that's okay to not be also. Is that what the book about is making sure that people realise that this is okay? That people realise it but also that you're okay with that yourself. Yeah. You know it's not just other people's expectations, it's the expectations you have on yourself and so we need to kind of, we need to just reduce those a little bit and be kind to ourselves. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. So what's one takeaway piece of advice you give to mums watching right now about what they can do to make themselves healthier and happier? I think, you know, there's so much advice out there, that's the problem, isn't it? But I think it all starts with you and looking after yourself. So one thing today would be just take five minutes to think about what makes you happy. It might be putting on music, it might be a cup of tea that you actually get to finish while it's still hot. <laughs> yes. That would be amazing. <laughs> and so think about those things and then try to include just one of them in your day every day. Just a little bit of time for yourself every day. A tiny little bit. Well, Tui, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, if you would like more tips on taking time for yourself, grab a copy of Tui's book on the Dear Mummy website. And for our lucky audience, everyone goes home with a copy of the book today. <laughs> nice work. Thanks, Tui.